Hey guys, just wanted to show you my EDC setup today. So I carry this pouch everywhere I go, pretty much. Um, I always have it around. This is from Maxpedition, the company that makes these, and they make lots of great bags. Here's like, this is the micro. Here's the mini. That's the skinny. And the one I have is, it's called the beefy, and you can see why this expands quite a bit. So the first thing I have on this is on the handling carry, the carry handle right here. I usually just clip my keys to it right there. Um, but I took those off already. In the netted area, I have a piece of cardboard with about four feet of duct tape wrapped around it. And in this duct tape, duct tape sheath that I made, I have a can opener. This is a P51 World War II era manual can openers. They work great. Super cheap, so I just tossed one in there. I've used it plenty of times. So now we get into the inside of the bag. <coughs> we have um, quite a few items I'll get into. So first I just have chapstick, pretty self-explanatory. Good to have in Utah. Next one I have the Streamlight Stylus Pro. I absolutely love these lights. They're great. They're only $15, $20, super bright, narrow beam. It's just simple on and off, or there's a momentary switch too. So these are great lights. I really recommend them. They're pretty reliable. Here I have a six inch micro USB cable. Um, I have a lot of things that charge with micro USB, so I always keep one around. Here is a Leatherman Micro multi-tool. Um, it's a little hard to unfold one hand, so I have an extra one. When you unfold it, it turns into a pair of scissors. It has a few other tools too, but I don't really use them. I just use them for the scissors. These are usually on my keychain too, so I actually have two pairs. I have one in the bag and one on the bag that's on my keychain. You can see all the wear on that. I use it quite a bit. And here I have a micro or a mini Altoids tin, Altoid mini tin. And I just keep in this, actually, not Altoids. I just keep spearmint gum. I usually keep four or five pieces. Um, just nice to have. And I keep them in here because in the summer it could get really hot. And if you just have these thrown around where there's not a lot of breathing room, if they're squished, they could melt a little bit. So I just keep them in that tin to keep them safer. <coughs> this is the CRKT. M16 10Z folding knife. Just a simple, I'm guessing about a three inch blade. I have the one with the serrated edge halfway down. Some of them are just straight edge. This one has serrations and a straight edge. Simple, reliable, um, pretty cheap too. I think about $40 or so. And then there's a little back pocket back here. And I just have a sleep mask in here, so if I want to take a nap on a road trip or something, I have that. Down here I have an s beaner with some spare keys. I also have a whistle. Um, in the summer I go home to California, and if you ever think about an earthquake, if you get trapped in rubble, it's really hard to yell for a long time, so whistles can be really important for stuff like that in an emergency setting. I also forgot to know, I have, no, I have this from everyday carry items, and then I also have some emergency supplies in here. I kind of like a mix of it too, because I'm kind of a prepper myself, so I have things to start fires, water filters, and then I also have simple everyday items that you'd usually carry. In the top of the bag I have two other lights. This is the Streamlight MicroStream. It's going to be hard to do this one-handed, but you twist it and then it gives off a little bit of white light. It's not super bright, but that's just to navigate the bag. If I have to find something in the middle of the night, don't have my phone on me. This is the same idea, it's just a little light. This is a red light. So let's see. So red light is great um, because it preserves your night vision. So if you ever look into a bright white light, you're not going to be able to see much after you turn it off for a little bit, but this will keep your night vision, so it's nice to have. 
The only thing I don't like about these lights, they have button cell batteries. So that's why this is the primary light. It carries AAAs, so it's a lot easier to replace and a lot brighter. <coughs> um, moving on to here, this is the Exotac Match Cap XL. This is just a brilliant little container. Um, all of these are watertight, but basically they're meant for matches. You could pretty much store anything in them. One sec, I'm just unscrewing this. So in mine I have 18 stormproof matches, and then the bottom I have two small fishing hooks wrapped in electrical tape, and then I also have a sewing needle. So these matches are great too, the stormproof ones, they literally will burn underwater. I'm not even kidding, can't really be blown out, so that's my first source of fire, so that's one of the emergency things I carry. So this case is waterproof, um, but I also, it's kind of hard to see. I have some lint stored in there because lint's a great fire source as well, great source of tinder. <coughs> These are some nail clippers. Um, it's going to be hard to get them out, but you can see them. Um, these are from Victoric Knox. The reason I got these is they lie completely flat. It's not like nail clippers take up a lot of space, but usually when they're folded, they're slightly angled. So in the elastic, it pushes them out over time. This one's completely flat, so it doesn't have that issue, and it's pretty compact. Um, I go through these quite a bit. They get a little squished, but I go through them pretty often, so it's not a problem. So I just have... Normal granola bar, not a ration bar or anything, because ration bars are kind of gross and expensive sometimes. And then I have, I have a mechanical pencil, and then two fine point sharpies. Those are always great to have everyday life or um, any kind of survival situation. You're going to want to mark where you're going, what you're doing, things like that. So I always have those on me. The Sawyer Mini Water Filter, another survival item. So this comes with a bag to, fi to filter the water, like a little squeeze bag, but I couldn't quite fit it in here. But if you've ever heard of Life Straw, this works the same way. You could attach a straw and then drink straight out of a water source, so I have both of those thrown in here. <coughs> On this side of the bag, um, I have a lighter, just a Bic lighter, so it's another fire source. This is the Victoric Knox Camper Swiss Army Knife. This has the tweezers, the toothpick, the corkscrew, the small knife, the larger knife, large Phillips head screwdriver, small Phillips head screwdriver, can opener, bottle opener, wire stripper, so a lot of great tools on this. I've used it quite a bit throughout the years. You could get these in any shape, size, whatever tools you want, so always great to have a Swiss Army Knife in the kit. So then, over here I have a four port anchor charging block, so it's great for hotels or anything, or when you and your friends are fighting over that, let you four of them. And the top one is a fast charge 2.0 port for my phone. I've also thought about replacing this for a small laptop charger too, because the technology is getting good enough you could get a brick smaller than that now even just for a laptop like a 60 watt brick because i also have a separate 18 watt fast charger so this one's much faster so this is what i use just for my phone and then if i have multiple devices then i'll use this one <coughs> here's an anchor battery so it's just a simple battery bank not much to it um this one only has one usb port but 10,000 milliamp hours, that's enough to charge my phone. Probably about twice, I think. Um, so it's always good to have. I would recommend that in any kit. Emergency kit, everyday kit, super useful. Here's another micro USB cable. This one's three feet long. I have the six inch cord and I have the three foot long cord over here. So this is the one I'll usually use. This is a USB type C cable. I like the braided one because I could tell which cable I'm grabbing in the dark between these two. If it's smooth, I know it's micro USB. USB C is the braided one. And that's also three feet. And that's what I use to charge my phone. Um, 
Also my laptop, but I need a higher power brick for that that I don't have in here yet. And there's a zipper pocket in the back. I don't usually grab stuff from this very often. It's more of like a backup kit, but I have a few things. This is nine band-aids. There's three of each size. So there's small, medium, and large. Super simple, but it'd be nice to have. This actually has saved me a few times <laughs> a backup mask. I can't tell you how many times I go to the store and just completely forget it and then you have to drive all the way home. So I don't have paracord or anything in here. A lot of people put 550 paracord and survive kits, but while it's super strong, it's kind of bulky. But normal dental floss is super thin and compact, and it's also really, really strong. This is 77 yards, so, excuse me, 77 meters, so that is around 240 feet. And I mean, that's small. That's probably just an inch in diameter, so it's nice to have. <coughs> I have a backup car key. Yes, I do keep my car keys clip to this bag, but sometimes I take off my keychain or have it in my pocket or something, so there could be a scenario where I don't have my keys clipped to this bag, but I do have the bag itself, so in that case I have a spare car key. The Exotac match cap has a striker on the side and on the bottom, but in case you wear those out or whatever, this just sealed so it's watertight. Just two more match strikers for those. Just a backup. This is actually extremely useful to have. I don't really rely on caffeine um, pretty much ever. And I hate coffee. But caffeine jelly beans taste good. And the best thing is sometimes you'll have like a road trip or like a drive you need to take late at night. And you're just getting sleepy so it's way safer just to take some form of caffeine for some quick energy. So... I have these in my car, have them in overnight bags, I have them and everything, but also have them here. And they're great because you could also, they're individual jelly beans, so you could just take like three and you might be fine. You take half the bag, the whole bag, and it's resealable, so I really can't recommend these enough, honestly, in any emergency or everyday kit, you might need them. I have a space blanket too, this thing has been smushed <laughs> for about two years, so... It's pretty compact now, but full-size space blanket. <clears throat> These are great too. So electrolytes could be really important in a survival situation. Um, and these come in these little steel packs. And I've had them before. They're just these little chew tablets that you eat. And electrolytes, good for muscle cramps, good for anything like that. Here's two things of... Um, I'm just gonna flip it around here. There we go. These are just SPF 30 sunscreen packets. Oh, there we go. Individually packed, but they could be good to have. There's another one, it's actually three. Here's four the Purell germ sanitizing hand wipes. So, definitely good during a pandemic. I had them in their way before the pandemic, but. Also very good to have. Another one of the sunscreen packets. This one feels pretty dried out, so I'll probably throw that one away. This is a water key. I don't see this in a lot of survival kits or backup kits, but basically on the side of stores, there's little spigots that they don't want people to use. But you could hook one of these keys on, turn it, and you'll get clean water, so in like an emergency situation that could be really useful to have. It does weigh quite a bit, but I don't really mind. I don't usually carry this 100% of the time, it just goes where I go, so if I go to work, like I just carry this into work and I put it down. If I go to my car, bring it to the car, put it down. Bring it home, put it on the nightstand, put it down. So I'm not like holding this constantly, but anyways, this does add a bit of weight, but super cheap and it's going to last forever. <clears throat> and here I have, this is like the most, um, I guess, trauma-related first aid kit item I have in here. 
but this is a burn pad, so 2 by 6 inches, so this is a pretty big one, burn and wound dressing, so that's for more severe first aid emergency. And then, this is my last thing. Still the very back, I just have $40 of cash because it's always good to have. You lose your wallet, or I've had many times where like, I thought I had an idea and I had to go buy something or buy gas or something, so always good to have. Some people might store $20, I've seen some people store as much as $100, it just depends on what you want to do. Um, and the last item in the kit, this is the X-Attack. Uh, Nano Striker XL. So this is a fire steel as well. So it's like a flint and steel thing. You unscrew this rod and then there's a full size flint rod there and this is the striker for it. So it's great because it's self contained. You can actually put this on a keychain, but I like keeping it in the bag just to make it feel a little more secure. And then and then you could use that as another fire source. Using the lint you have in here. See the fire steel lighter and the 18 matches so you definitely tell I'm a bit of a survival guy because <laughs> I have all this stuff in here um yeah and these are great bags I mean you can put as little as you want here like it could just be that thick but mine's stuff so full it's about twice that fat when I have it packed so these are great bags great way to organize stuff and I guess I didn't lay this out as neatly as I could have, but holds a lot of stuff, is my point. <laughs> um, and I've had this for about five years, so great bag. So anyways, thanks for watching. This is my personal setup. Um, I carry this around every day, and it's lasted me forever. So anyways, like I said, you get these any size. Some people carry them this size. I've seen that size. I've seen smallest size just to give you an idea sorry I accidentally turned off the video for a second there but like I was saying here's like a small one of the smallest pouches you get and that's an example I carry this at school so you have tons of different setups tons of possibilities of this kind of stuff um, so like I said there's all these different sizes there's a lot more than that even and you get them from different companies and everything too but my point is, it's super easy to make a bag on any budget, any setup, any amount of things that you have. And yeah, I've had this for five years. It's held up super well. So yeah, I definitely think it's a good thing to check out and get into. So thanks for watching, guys. And if you want to see any more content or information about the stuff and what's in this bag, just go check out the blog. And we have that all listed. So thanks, guys. See you later.